Hello everybody and welcome back to our practice series for the modlock. Today we're going to be jumping in and trying out one of the characters that a lot of people like seeing, but he tends to be a bit difficult to play. We're jumping in as Bertrand here. I'm going to be playing him on keyboard and mouse just because I'm not well accustomed. Ooh, suplex off the bat. I'm not well accustomed to, key, uh, to uh, controller at all. Regardless, I do realise that playing him in controller is a significantly better way to go. I did a little bit of practice before this just to get reacquainted with his moveset. And yeah, PC controls keyboard seems to be the better option for me. Um... And yes, yeah, Suplex is a really interesting way to start. So for those of you that don't know this guy, he's a very interesting melee-based character where you throw your head at enemies. You've got a few different moves, slinging your head around. You've got a move where you can throw it and then slingshot yourself into enemies. You have a move where you can spin it around your head. And then, as you saw there, you can fill up this meter at the top left and then do a slam attack, which will fill up the pips. And filling up the little pips below these little things here will give you damage ups. It increases the amount of pips you need each floor, so it does get harder. But it's a nice way to be able to get a little bit of additional damage as this guy, because generally this guy's biggest struggle, at least in my opinion, is damage. He always suffers from low damage, so having an additional way to gain some is rather nice. Honestly, suplex here is going to be hugely, hugely important for this run. I'm very happy to see it. Um, but yeah, we'll see the slam attack here. We'll go, whoop, yaw, and slam right onto that guy. But definitely a tough character to play. And one of the ones in the Nuzlocke that I feel like is going to be um, problematic for a lot of people. Uh, quite a few people going into the Nuzlocke have never played him before. Never played some of the modded characters. And I think this is one of the characters that if you go in blind, you're going to have a pretty rough time. I'm hoping, I was just about to say, hoping he doesn't die so I can just get this here. Really what we want to be doing is stockpiling as much HP as we possibly can. And riding that through... Getting hit like that is a very bad idea. I just walked into that enemy. For some reason, I didn't think a fly would be produced at that point. We do also have the Repentance Champion mods on here, as you can see. So we've got the Boom Fly version of Baby Plum here. Definitely a little bit of a trickier one. Oof. I do hate it when Suplex misses, but it's just part of what we've got to deal with, I guess. Get gone, my lord. Oh, it's kind of funny that he, can't, he continues doing that attack after the Suplex. I thought the suplex would end that attack. Apparently not. But so far, so good. Squeezy is another good grab here. Uh, fire, it's going to let us chuck out our head a little more often, I believe. Um, and obviously, the soul hearts are magnifique. There is also a very, very interesting sort of extra mechanic that Bertrand has that we'll see, hopefully soon, where some items have very specific synergies, like handcrafted synergies for this guy. So... When you see an item that has like little twinkles, little sparkles on it, that means that you have found yourself a, um, you found yourself a bespoke synergy. And those are really where this character gets the vast majority of his damage. Um, ooh, just an item there. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, it's where this guy gets the vast majority of his damage. So we're going to be trying to find a few of those along the way. We'll see if that ends up being the case. Sometimes you don't find them, sometimes you do. Tends to be that you, when you're playing with any mods on, you find a few less because it only is with vanilla items. And I believe there isn't many with the repentance items either. So it's mainly only with the Afterbirth Plus and um, below items. Honestly, Suplex is kind of saving our life here. Can also do a bit of spin around. See what we got in here. How to jump. So this is actually one that has a synergy. Um, this is Dislocated Heads. Okay, so it has a synergy. It's not a great one, though. I think Suplex is still going to be far more preferable for us right now. But that's the sort of thing I'm talking about. You see those little twinkles? It means that there's a, a synergy waiting for you. Some of them can be really good. Others, not so much. It depends what you get. It depends on the sort of things you can get. But you can see they also do apply to active items as well. So there is a few actives here and there that have some specific interesting synergies. It's kind of like how Book of Virtues has specific interactions with different actives sort of thing. It's kind of like that. But so far, so far, really not too much to worry about. Now, this is a particularly decent run with this guy, but if you don't get great items off the bat, like something like Suplex, you can really struggle with your damage output. And it, 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 it does become quite a problem. You've really got to play to his strengths if you don't get what you need. I think I got hit there. I didn't quite Suplex quick enough and a fly spawned on me. But it's okay. 
We can also swing swing around. We could go Devil Deal here, but I'm thinking Angel Deal will be better. Plus range is incredible for this guy because it means we can throw ahead a lot, lot longer range. So I'm very happy to have that. Let's continue on down. I think just for now, one second. There we go. Sorry about that. I think just for now, we're going to be trying to do like Dark Path and stuff like that because that's really what I'm going to be going for um, as the characters uh, when we first start. Okay, so as you can see as well, not killing an enemy with the slam down means that we don't get the damage pip. So we need to do that again, but didn't actually get the kill. You really need to be aiming for weaker enemies if plausible. So like now let's go for one of these flies here. Guaranteed kill. We got ourselves a pip. Slam down on that guy. But yeah, having this extra range is hugely useful for us. Okay, I forgot you can't suplex over again. Didn't get a kill there. Didn't expect to, to be fair. I don't want to use suplex at the minute because I'm charging up. I was about to say, if I can get a charge on this guy, there you go. Get my second pip. And once we get our three pips, we'll get another damage up. So we're really looking to get that as soon as possible. Whoa, the shadow. The reflection in the water went a bit glitchy then. <laughs> it's all upside down. It's kind of... It's kind of reattached. Not really. Ooh, what does car battery do for us here? I don't think it does anything, right? We've also got Molten Dime there, which is an item that that's very, very strong. <laughs> Probably one of the strongest ones you can find within the collection mods. So, might be good to get that, but honestly, it would replace Suplex, and I don't know if I want that. We are going to take some damage like that every now and again, where I try to Suplex and either miss or I'm a little out of range, and it causes some issues. That just is what it is, I guess. Also, that's lovely. It could end up going back over the spikes, but let's hope not. Get ourselves some additional Monet here. We've already been into the shop, so we know what's in there. I think the shop's kind of a bust. Car battery is really good. Molten Dime with car battery is pr I wouldn't say it's a guaranteed win, but it's a, it's a very good chance of a win. We, we may... maybe... I don't know. I'm really liking Suplex, but I maybe should take that deal, because that is a combination of items that results in utter chaos. And finding both of them in one shop is pretty rare. Tried to get that guy, not quite. I'll think about it. I'll do the boss first and we'll come back. Depends on if I get an angel deal or not, see where we are damage-wise. Because I think suplex right now is our main output of damage. We really don't want to lose that. Not having that could be a big problemo. Nice. The shockwave is just huge. The one good thing right now is we have really good range, which is just make our, making our life a hell of a lot easier. Still getting hit a lot, though. That's not changing anytime soon. We get Hourglass, unfortunately. That's another active that we definitely don't want. This is a good room to spin. So it knocks enemies away as well, so it's going to keep them off our back. we we'll get one of them out there. Stop these guys from charging us down. Good, good. Right, let's do the boss. And we'll see where we see where we sit after that. <laughs> I love the fact that you can suplex enemies like that. It's so silly. So silly. Get you while your mouth surfing, big boy. Still, we're not doing great damage, which is again why I'm saying suplex might be necessary, because. Even with suplex, our damage isn't great. Don't know why I keep throwing him into the corner, by the way. Oh, I'm getting hit quite a lot right now. Oh, that's a that's like three hits back to back to back right there. Keep that away from me. Eye drops is pretty good. I don't know how that's gonna work for us really. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with suplex. I think suplex, while a game break could be fun, suplex is interesting and it's keeping our damage in check right now, which I think is very, very important. It's a little bit of a shame that we got hit quite so much back there. Uh, that that um, fight with Big Horn there kind of did us in a little bit. We at least got one of our pips going now. I mean, getting them every floor. Basically, once you get to the womb is when it starts to get to the point where it's a bit too tricky to fill up all your pips. But you, you can still try. It's not impossible. It's just definitely harder. One thing I'm noticing there is when we do stuff like suplexing, we don't get any uh, any pip 
We don't get any pith um, advantage. There you go. Really, that missed. I wish Suplex just like auto aimed. Okay, we've almost got all of them filled already. Might even be able to get the last one here. There you go. We got a pips filled for another damage up. The damage ups are very, very mediocre. You get like 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0 0.2 sort of thing. It kind of scales up pretty slowly. But it's still nice to have them. How did you survive that, sir? Excuse me? I should have gone for the... Um, should have gone for the wall, actually. I'll see if I can make that work. One second. Does this work? It does. I had to try that out. We did get a big chest, which honestly, with five keys, we got a good chance of opening. We did open it. We got stone bombs and yum heart. Yum heart's kind of interesting. Could be good. Both of these have synergy. Loki's horns especially being a good one. Um, getting sweaty. Oh, okay. Um, getting sweaty seems to make it so that when we swing, if we, if we look here, we shoot out shots every now and again, which is a little bit of an extra bonus. Nothing crazy, but pretty decent. It, oh, it seems to... Okay, it does it when we normally hit as well. Okay, that's very nice. That's a very big advantage. Oh, we don't have a key left for that, though. I should have thought about that. I don't regret getting Loki's horns there. That was definitely... Um, sorry, stone bombs there, because that stone bombs is very good, but... Would be nice to have a key to get into our item room. We really don't want to meet... Like, as this character especially, you really... Oh, really? Oh, no, 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 no. I got hit twice there. Like I said, you're just so hard to not get hit as this guy. Also, I don't know if you can hear that, but someone next door seems to be doing some home improvement. There's a lot of hammering going on. Blood puppy, my sweet child. Come with me, my little chubby fella. Let's go. Away we go as this fella. Okay, we got another tinted rock out. That's very nice to see. Really should have used suplex on that, but we got it. And a lot of money, which honestly, I don't know. The shop could be end up could end up being good, so I'm not gonna say it's useless at the moment. But I'd rather have health than money right now. God damn it, you! Okay, gotcha. Don't think that's gonna be super useful. Right, make our way back. Secret room wise, we might be able to find one there. There you go. Very nice. Health, as I said before, is sort of the primary concern with this guy. The main way that I feel like we're going to end up being let down. So, getting more of that's always good. Getting a suplex in here might be a little tough. I mean, I'll try when I can. Unfortunately, not a great enemy to hit. Oh, no, we actually got quite a lot out of that. Last enemy. I love the range that we have right now. Having low range as this guy is such a killer. Oh, we don't even have a key. <laughs> I spent it on that golden chest. God damn it. I went all that way. I went all that way and I didn't even realize. I guess I could pick this up and try it out maybe. I'll see if I need it. Hello, you. <laughs> Just grabbed onto his head, not the body. Just the head. This guy is, of course, a slightly tricky one. But I think, yeah, suplex makes him kind of a pushover. And we did indeed get an angel deal. Fantastic. Unfortunately, yeah, I hate the fact that angel deals can suck that hard. An item that will literally do nothing for us this run at all. Very unfortunate. 
Ow. 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 Whoa. Does that, I can't tell. Does Bertrand have, like, less iframes? He, he, he probably doesn't, but it really feels like he does. I got hit three times in such quick succession then. There is a little bit of a bug, or at least what I assume is a bug that you can do with this guy, where you can use arm. Oh, don't know what. I was going to tell you a bug, but I'm not, I'm not going to fuck. Stop hitting me! Go away! Oh my god, this character just frustrates me. But you can fill up your meter. What I was going to try and show you is you can fill up your meter on these dudes by just, like, hitting them over and over again, which is pretty nice. It doesn't matter, though, because I got hit, like, ten times in the process of trying to show you that. Because... This guy just gets hit so much. I don't know what it is about playing this character. I think it's just because he's Mila. I, I don't vibe well with Mila characters. I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm the exact same with the Forgotten. I just get hit so darn much. Right, we got into the shop. <sighs> Not a good shop. Was hoping for something a little better. Was hoping that Suplex wouldn't let me down again, but it did. Yeah, dude, no, 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 no. I don't think I can hit this guy. Um. Um. Problem. Problem. I think I'm gonna have to make him eat a bomb, aren't I? There you go. God damn it, Blood Puppy. So we can't actually de a Blood Puppy. Suplex, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, it's been terrible. But yeah, this is probably going to be another character that um, I maybe don't get a single mark as. I would, I would bet... I would bet on me not getting a single mark as this character. Just the health issue. I'm just constantly getting hit with this guy. I don't know what it is about this guy, but I get hit as him... What eat me then? I don't even know. And suplex keeps missing too. Obviously that won't be a problem with runs, because most runs we aren't going to have suplex. Still, it's a pain in the ass when it misses though. It shouldn't miss as often as it does. Just put them in on enemies, targeting on them. Or you just got to dash past them, it's silly. And then we got all this money, and no shop to show for it, or no shop worth, worth a damn to show for it at least. Good, good. Little lava. No, thank you. Item room, please give us some beautiful synergy. Please give us something to write home about. The damage we are doing right now is is getting to be a little lackluster. This this is basically what happens with this character where it falls off. Where, basically, in the early game, you're kind of just, go, like, going through the motions, kind of trashing enemies, doing a decent job, making your way through. But then once you get to, like, the depths area, the, unless you've got an actual damage upgrade, which obviously right now we don't, it just, I don't know, you just, you just lose momentum. And I think it's because, like, most other characters, tier rate is, like, a very important skill that makes you... Um, a lot better. Whereas I feel like tier rate does very, very little as this guy. I, I, I don't know if it is just me, but I, I don't like. I think it makes you able to hit faster. But if it does, it's not by a lot because I really don't notice the difference. So you can't. You you actually do rely on damage upgrades. You can't just get DPS upgrades, for example, like getting a tears up. You actually have to get a thing that increases your damage stat. And Honestly, they're not all that common in Isaac, so if you don't get one by this point, it really puts you in a tough spot. How did Suplex not hit that guy? And then we got your Listen, which is um, not a damage upgrade of any sense. It's, um, it's, actually, it's actually not very good for us at all right now, so that's... Uh, it's tickety boo. Big sad. It's a big sad, is what it is. Come on, Navi. Let's go. Right, to the boss. I think next floor is really where things hit the fan and we could die. 
if we don't get something. Because, yeah, like, 4.4 on fire rate. My head's not coming back any quicker, right? <laughs> it doesn't look to be. Okay, well, that was nice. Damage-wise in this guy, let's let's use this just to ease things along a little bit. Might hit myself. I did hit myself. But I'd already lost my Devil Deal chances anyways. We got a range upgrade. Range is, it, it's good. It's nice, but it, it really, really needs some damage now. It really, really needs some damage now. Really? Didn't mean to use that key. Whoops. So I'm hoping that, like, the shop or whatever provides for us here. To get that fella quelled. He was getting very angry. Apparently that guy hit me. Don't, don't really see how. Dude, suplex. Oh my god. Just hit the enemy that I'm trying to hit. Why are you so pathetic at doing that? It's like your only job. I should be using the sling attack a little more as well. But honestly, it's difficult. Oh, you're not dead. Oh yeah, because I have no damage. Suplex! Oh my god! You are just a just useless item when you don't hit the enemy that I'm trying to... Oh, just... Can't fathom it. Why is it so just awful? Oh, you can destroy... You can destroy these guys. I did not know that. We're, we're pretty much dead now. So, yeah, this is this is what I'm saying about this fella. He, um... He struggles later in the game. He certainly does. He's fun. It's a lot of fun. For a... For a Nuzlocke... People, people that voted for the characters may have been trolling. Because they picked some of the hardest characters possible. <laughs> and they certainly did it on purpose. I think the Nuzlocke's going to be over pretty quick. I'll be honest. For me, at least. I think Andromeda and Arachna, I have a good chance of sticking around. The rest of them? No, no, no. <laughs> Oh my god, Scapula actually did something for us today. It's the first time ever. Really, that didn't hit both. Oh, we got Soul Heart there. One. Two. Three. Scapula again coming in clutch. It's taken like four hits to kill enemies at this point. It's just kind of silly. Yeah, I, like I think the f like the fling attack is is one that I could use more, but that I just feel like I get contact damaged all the time when I use that attack. I fling myself into an enemy and I just take contact damage. Dingleberry is a good trinket as well. I kind of want that. Come on, shop. You bastard. More money. Huzzah. Exactly what we needed. Yeah, item room is our last chance. Last chance to do something good. You get something good going on. Oh. Oh, walked right into that one, quite literally. Okay. Pips filled, damage up. Beautiful. We needed it, but it was a 0.25 damage up. So, basically didn't matter whatsoever. Also, this guy has uh, gone to a tirade and we don't have a bomb. 
the d4 honestly yes please give me the d4 that that was shocking we can't get suplex now because i've locked it behind rocks I'm gonna take it and um our items are significantly worse i think give me some health yay <laughs> Wow, those items are bad. I don't think any of them have any uh, synergy either. Stop walking into that stupid spiked rocky idiot. Why do I keep doing that? I think I just want to die. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, but if anyone has any additional tips they'd like to give me for this character, please do let me know because I'm definitely struggling pretty hard. Hey, Leech is uh, helping us out. Thank you. I love the way you just pick up the whole door. Okay. How are we going to get through the mum fight? We need uh, Leech to be a lot more proactive with his killing and healing me shtick leech could you latch on to like a single enemy please thank you leech kill the flies please thank you We got her. And then we have to take damage because we just desperately need damage. But we're onto the womb <laughs> with only three hearts. And this this default run, yeah, I think our, I think our last run was better. Which honestly, for the default, not surprising. Not super surprising. Keep pushing forward. I mean, having the having the little divine intervention thing every now and again is kind of nice. Oh, that that guy that guy got me, did he? Okay. Do you know do you know why he got me? Because I thought he'd be dead after me hitting him. No, no, no. Don't have the damage for that. Thank God we got leech healing us up here. Otherwise, we'd, we'd already be dead. Whew. This guy's a tricky boy. He is going to cause people some issues. Definite issues to be had with this fella. But when he also fired his shot wrong way. And then missed suplex as well. Got you eventually. We are in half a heart, so it's kind of up to Leech to bring us back into the game here. That was nice. I should let Leech kill something, but these enemies aren't really the one for him. Oh, we did get a Leech hit there, but it doesn't matter. We unfortunately perished. There you go. Not a bad practice run as this guy, but we're going to need a lot more practice before we get over to the mod lock itself. I hope you guys enjoyed regardless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.